Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four-court film for our absolutely beautiful 2012 BMW 3 Series. This is the 328i Touring model. Uh, quite a rare engine designation, this one. It's a, uh, a two-litre turbo petrol engine uh, with about 240 brake horsepower. Uh, has recently been, or not too recently, I think in about 2015-16 was, was rebadged as the 330i. Um, and uh, is, is actually quite a rare model. There's not a huge amount of them out there. So it's a, a four-cylinder two litre turbocharged petrol um, and like I said delivers about 240 brake horsepower really nice and punchy um, a really lovely engine actually I've had a couple of cars um, with this engine uh, over the years and uh, always been extremely impressed with it the car is finished in alpine white looks absolutely incredible um, the previous owner has really taken care of it um, in terms of uh, the, the way it looks and also sort of maintenance and things like that with a full BMW service history um, if we come across in terms of the sort of condition and things like that, you do get the odd small stone chip as you'd kind of expect um, on a car um, of this age and mileage, um, but they really are very few and far between and we'll have a lot of those sort of touched up um, just to take the eye off them and just protect them a little bit from getting any worse, but, um, but certainly there's nothing excessive on the car um, at all that, uh, that I feel that I would need to point out to you. Um, like I said, other than just the, um, the odd little stone chip here and there. Uh, the car's been enhanced with the visibility package, which is the uh, bison on headlights, um, also with cornering lights, and then when you're parking as well, things like the fog lights there light up. Um, it completely enhances the whole sort of front end look of the car, um, as well as obviously giving you far better headlights and everything like that as well. Uh, the lights are also adaptive, so they turn around the corners um, as, you're, uh, as you're driving um, and uh, sort of light up your side of the road. Um, so in terms of the rest of the condition, come down the driver's side, completely free of any marks or nasty blemishes at all. The yellow wheels are all in very good condition. I think one of them has a small amount of curb mark on them, but as you can see, the 18-inch M Sport alloy wheels are all in very nice condition. All the mirror caps and everything like that completely free of any marks or grazes. And if we come all the way down the side of the car, again, you can see it's the same thing all the way around. Back bumper in really fabulous condition, no marks, not even anything really sort of on the where you would normally get loading marks and things like that, there's absolutely nothing at all. You get the twin exhaust pipes on the back, all been nicely polished up. Uh, the rear wheel I think is pretty much completely free of any damage. And then down the passenger side, again rear wheel. This is the one that normally gets marked most, but that's all in really lovely condition. Side of the car, again free of any dents or marks. Another nice clean mirror cap. And then the front wheel as well. And I think this is basically this, this is the worst of it, just right on the very, very edge. It's just been sort of color coded in silver there, so it takes the eye off it from a distance. Um, but just to let you know that that is pretty much the only a couple of tiny little sort of grazes right on the outside edge, but you do have to be going in very close to see those. But overall, the condition I think is absolutely exceptional. I'll come around to the back and show you through to the boot. So we have an electric tailgate on the car. That can be open from the key or uh, also from the uh, from the button on the on the rear off the boot door, um, or in fact um, the buttons on the inside of the car as well. Got the parcel shelf in place, have the folding headrests in the back here just to sort of aid with visibility and things like that, so if you're not using the the, um, the rear seats then you can just fold those down there so that they keep nicely out of the way. And all the carpet area and everything like that, all in really lovely condition. Um, we've got the extended storage package, so additional sort of side nets, um, hooks and things like that there, and places to be able to put bottles. Um, and then also the different part, which is all fitted under here. And this basically sort of segregates off part of the boot area so that you can carry large items without them moving around while you're driving. And you've got your things like your first aid kit and everything like that down here, as well as a 12 volt socket, more hooks. Um, underneath here, this area is actually, uh, you can actually store the um, roller cover from the back there into here. You've got your locking wheel nut and uh, tools and all that kind of stuff in the back. And then the main section here, 
a decent amount of under boot storage. Obviously the car is fitted with run flat tires being a BMW, so you do not have a spare wheel. Press the button on the back there to close it down. And then a really nice feature on the 3 Series is the fact that you can open, independently open the, uh, the rear window there. Very, very handy. Um, if the car's sort of quite tightly parked in, you can just sort of drop your shopping straight in there. Um, or if you actually do have dogs or something like that, then actually they can sit in the back um, and uh, without jumping out and, uh, and obviously get a bit of fresh air in the summer and everything. So quite a nice, useful feature. Um, in terms of the sort of styling on the car, like I said, it's the, the full M Sport. So you have the, um, the, the sportier design. Um, on the bumpers, the 18 inch alloy wheels, a high gloss shadow line that goes all the way across um, the top here surrounding all the windows, black roof rails, and then this car's also have been upgraded and fitted with privacy glass as well at the back from the factory, that's um, factory tinted glass um, at the back. So yeah, it looks really, really smart against the Alpine white paintwork. And the paintwork itself is just so lovely, it really isn't um, anything to point out to you at all. Round to the back. Back seats, you've got Dakota leather in black all the way through. Fabulous condition again. No marks to the seat backs. The leather itself is really nice. No scratching or anything like that. Centre armrest pulls down there with cup holders and folds up neatly. And then, yeah, because you've got the storage package, you also get these nets on the back. That's not, uh, not standard on all of them. Another nice feature is the LED lighting on the outside. So when you come up to the car at night, all the door handles and everything like that light up for you. And then on the inside, again, all things like the seals and things like that are all in lovely condition. They've not been scratched up or scuffed. Even the driver's bolster is only showing a small amount of wear just on the, on the outer edge, as you'd expect. Um, but certainly is all in very nice condition. Being the M Sport model, you actually have the buttons down here which uh, can inflate or deflate the, um, the bolsters as well uh, to give you a bit more support in cornering and things. Get the really nice chunky three-spoke M Sport steering wheel with paddle shift on there as well uh, with your controls for your cruise control on the left-hand side and then over here, things like voice control and the volume controls and everything like that for all of your media. We have uh, automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers. And again, because it's got the storage package, you also get this handy cubby hole down here as well, which again, you don't get if you don't have the um, storage package. Um, front centre armrest slides forwards and backwards. Again, that's an extra. It's um, bizarre, but BMW really don't give you a huge amount. So you have to spec the cars quite nicely in order to get all the bits and pieces that you want. Uh, once inside the car, it's just a, it's a keyless start system. So you just put your foot on the brake and then you press the start stop button and the car will pop into life. All the lights should extinguish. Yep. Um, and we also have on this car the something called the black panel display, which is basically this sort of digital screen that runs all the way along the bottom. And so depending on what sort of mode you're in, uh, it will actually chop and change the, um, the overall display there. Also comes up with things like um, satellite navigation instructions and any warnings and things like that all come up on that digital display. Um, if you didn't have the black panel display, then you would just have like a traditional sort of gauge, a bit like the, the fuel one over here, um, here in, in, a, in a smaller screen rather than this really decent size screen that's there. So that's actually quite a nice, um, nice feature on that car as well. Steering wheel, all lovely, not gone shiny or horrible. All the stitching and everything like that, all in lovely condition. M Sport emblem at the bottom and really, is all in fabulous condition. Uh, across to the center, we'll show you the, the screens in a minute, but you've got uh, dual zone climate control. So you have uh, separate temperatures for driver and passenger. And then we also have in the back um, additional vents and uh, controls there for the for the rear passengers. Uh, climate control works uh, very nice and easily. Obviously it has full air conditioning. Um, and then we also have three stage heated seats for the driver and passenger as well. Um, so again, all nice and easy to uh, to use. Down to the centre, have um, cup holders and things like that in the middle, um, and additional kind of storage, 12 volt sockets there. Um, the buttons down here, we have your traction control on and off, um, the different sort of driving modes depending on, on, um, on uh, how you'd like it sort of set up, um, and we can also drive the car into uh, eco mode as well to, to save fuel. Um, and then we also have uh, parking sensors, you have front and rear on this car. Um, and again, they'll actually come up here and show you which sensors are being used at any one time, um, as you can see from there. So that turns them all on, on and off. 
Uh, your iDrive controller controls everything up on the main screen. And then down in the front center armrest, you have uh, USB and auxiliary sockets, as well as the uh, clip-in foam cradle, should you uh, wish to use that. Um, although a lot of people obviously nowadays would just use um, their Bluetooth on their phone to, uh, to connect through to the main system. In terms of using your phone, on the car you have uh, Bluetooth obviously for, for, for voice calls um, and then this one has also been upgraded as well so that you can use it for media streaming um, basically just means that any, any of your music that's on your on your phone um, or whether you're listening to Spotify or uh, podcasts or anything like that uh, can all be streamed directly onto the um, onto the main system here without having to plug the phone in so the the cradle is very much an optional um, feature there um, and uh, like I said, most people would just use uh, use Bluetooth to do that. Um, in terms of the other media bits and pieces on here, um, the car's been upgraded with the full professional satellite navigation um, and media package, and that gives you the uh, widescreen satellite navigation for Western Europe. Um, in fact, I'll show you that now. Again, really, um, really lovely and easy to use. You get a sort of Google Maps kind of interface at the top there. Um, works for the whole of Western Europe. It also accepts full postcodes um, and uh, has, has a number of different things like traffic reports and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so again, if you don't have the the full um, widescreen media package, you, the the screen itself is a lo is a lot smaller on there um, and and not as uh, high resolution or anything like that. So this one really is the uh, the top of the range one. Um, back to media. So yes, Bluetooth connections, auxiliary, USB as mentioned. Um, and then if we pop across to this menu up here, um, you'll see that we can use the CD or the DVD. Um, by putting a, a DVD in here, it just means you can watch movies on this screen uh, when, not, when obviously the car's not moving. Uh, music collection is basically a storage hard drive uh, within the car, so you can actually download music and, and things like that straight onto here and, and store it within the car. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, I think. We can set up all, the, all your sort of sound bits and pieces here on the control panel. Um, radio, we have uh, digital radio as well as FM and AM. Um, and then also there's just, just the sort of main setup um, control panel for the car as well so you can change all the all the bits and pieces um, in here so uh, things like the interior lighting, the sort of colour of it, the brightness of it, um, how long the lights stay on for on the outside and all that kind of thing. Um, and then vehicle information uh, we have sport displays up on here which are quite good fun basically it's sort of torque and a power meter um, and then vehicle status this is basically where the you can sort of see anything to do with the maintenance of the car so check things like oil level um, and then all of your servicing and everything like that as well so um, we've just had the car serviced uh, just yesterday and, and a, a brand new MOT put on um, and uh, you can now see that the, the next sort of um, thing that would need to be done is in December 2021, which is a brake fluid change. Um, two years, uh, so December 22, uh, for engine oil, or 19,000 miles, depending on which one comes soonest. Uh, vehicle check is not for uh, until 2024, or 37,000 miles. Uh, front brake pads have 26,000 miles worth of wear left on them and uh, 37,000 miles worth of wear left for the um, for the rear brake pads. Uh, they've all got sensors in them, um, so again, that'll, that'll uh, go up or down depending on, on your usage. Um, and then we can also pop into the service history screen and actually just see when the car has been serviced and by whom. Uh, this is, corresponds to the centre number, uh, which BMW dealership did the, um, did the work. And again, if you pop into this, it'll actually tell you exactly what was done um, and when, so um, all very, very useful. Brake fluid service in 15. Uh, big major service in 2016 at uh, just under 30,000 miles. Brake pads changed then. Brake fluid and vehicle inspection changed on that one. Engine oil service and filters again in 2018 and the brake fluid in 2019. Um, and then obviously with the service that we just done yesterday, which was the oil service that was due. Um, so yeah, all absolutely up to date uh, and as it should be. Um, we come across to the main screen up here. We can see mileage is today at 57,471. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. We've got a decent sized glove box and everything like that with all of your books and manuals in there. Also a little storage tray up there for an external device like an iPod or something. And uh, overall, the sort of condition on the inside of the car, I said, is absolutely lovely. There's no nasty scratch marks or anything like that. All the leather in such lovely condition. The car has never been smoked in, uh, or uh, any evidence that the dog's been in the car or anything like that at all. It smells brand new inside. 
all your buttons and controls and everything like that up here independent map reading lights in the back and um, yeah that's pretty much it i think I hope you found the video useful. Uh, like I said, it really is an absolutely beautiful car in exceptional condition all the way around. Um, has been extremely well looked after, like I said, with predominantly BMW service history. Um, and then, uh, like I said, recent service and, and MOT by us as well. Uh, if you'd like any further information, if we can help with any sort of close-ups and any bits and pieces um, or anything explained, then please do let us know. Um, similarly, if we can help you with um, any sort of finance figures uh, or if you have a part exchange that you'd like us to value, please do get in touch with us through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. Be more than happy to help and uh, hopefully get you down for a test drive and for a viewing of the car. Uh, in the meantime, thanks very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.